What's up everybody? Welcome to another video in the Hacker Rank series. And in this video, we'll be solving the next problem, which is staircase. So as you can see, this is a pattern printing problem. And you don't need to read all of this. It's obvious, probably to most of you. But to those of you which it is not so obvious, I'm going to read it out. So it says, consider a staircase of size n equals 4. So here you have three spaces on the first line, and then you have a, you have a hash or the pound symbol. On the next line you have two hash and then two pounds, one hash and then three pounds and then four pounds, right? So observe that its base and height are both equal, meaning that you have four uh, four uh, hashes these uh, in this direction and four in this direction. And the image is drawn using hash symbols and spaces. The last line is not preceded by any spaces, so you don't have any spaces here, right? So write a program that prints a staircase of size n, meaning that you that here the value of n is 4, but uh, you would be given any value of n. For example, n could be 5, 10, anything from 0 to 100, right? Okay, so for example, here you have any, uh, the value of n is 6, and you have this staircase here where you have 6 lines, right? So before we start coding this problem, let me uh, give you a better example, which would be would probably be more easier to understand. So let's try the most common one, this one. And this is more common in pattern printing problems. So when the value of n is 4, the output would be this. This is a left-sided right angle triangle. That uh, The one that you have to do in this problem, it's the right one. But this is a bit more... This is a bit harder than this one. So we are going to understand this one first, okay? So here you can see that you have four lines to print, right? So you would have to run a loop which runs four times. So you would say, let's give the value of n equals four, and then you would do for i in range, since you can use a range function to iterate any number of times you want, or one sec, instead of writing four, you could write n, right? So it would go zero, one, two, three, right? And then on the first line, you can see that we have hash one time. And then you have to go to the next line. And then there is two lines. Then you have to go to the next line. And then there is three, three, uh, three symbols. On the next line, you have four symbols and so on, right? So what you can do here is uh, you would have to use another loop to give, I mean, you could, if you simply wrote, let's say, on there, and if you run that, you would say that, it's a one-dimensional thing, right? But a triangle, this is a two-dimensional, or this one, this is a two-dimensional figure, right? So for two-dimensional figures like these, you would have to use a two-dimensional loop st structure, right? So you would say for J in range, and here you would have to run it how many times? Can you guess? Okay, let me tell you. So in the first line, you have to print something one time. In the second line, you have to print it two times, third line three times, fourth line four times, and so on, right? So on the nth line, you have to print hash nth time, n times. Okay, so the value of i here, it would go from 0 to 1 to 2 and then to 3, right? So, is it somehow related with the number of pounds that we have on the screen? Yes, it does actually. So if you add just plus one to all of these numbers, you can see that this is one, two, three, and four. And that's what you want, right? You want one pound, two pound, three pound, and four pounds. So if you could, if you could control this loop with the value of i somehow, you can print these numbers. You can print the number of pounds that are printed on the screen, right? So what you have to do here is you have to do i plus 1. And why, why are we doing i plus 1? Because here we have to do i plus 1. You can see the value of i, it starts with a 0. And if you do simple simply for j in range i, it's not going to work because in the, in the first time, it, it would be for j in range 0. So it's not going to iterate any time because it's a 0 already, right? So you would have to you would have to have this 1 to print the first line. And here if you write if here if you write in hash, uh, well, if you run this, you can see that it's printing hash a bunch of times, but it's still single dimensional. And why is that happening? Because print, this print function by default adds a new line every time it is run. So when you're printing hash, you're not just printing hash, you're printing 
hash plus a new line character. So what you have to do to get rid of it is you have to write comma end equals nothing. That means that you want and by the uh, by default this is one of the parameters of the print function. Okay, this is one of the optional parameters and by default its value is slash n. So if you run this like this you can see that there is no change there. Also if we remove this you can check it again. If you remove if you remove this and you run it you're getting the same output right. But if you change the value of slash n with nothing you can see that you're getting this single line out right and why is this happening because now you're printing everything on the same line but what do you want you want to add a new line every time you come out of this loop right but you still want to be in this loop the outer loop so inside here you would have to you need to have a new line character but remember since by default print function enters a new line you don't have to enter you don't have to write another slash n here so if you just delete that if you run this you can see that you're getting the same output that you want here right so you are getting one hash two hash three hash and four hash there and that's how it's working okay also if you remove the plus one you can see what would happen you can see that on the first line it's not doing anything so it's a zero but it's still running so that's why a print statement here this statement is being run so that's why it's adding a new line but it's not printing hash any times because the value of i would be zero in the next time when the value of i is one since it goes here and j in range one this loop and this loop runs one time and hash is being printed one time and then you go print again and then it it it, it adds a new line there then you go here the value of i becomes two so this would run two times and you are getting two hashes but to get the same output you would have to write plus one there okay so that's the left sided uh, right angle triangle that you want to print but this is not that we want we want it to be this way so the value of n when the value of n is 4 we want our output to be three spaces and then a hash and then two spaces and then two hashes right and then you want one space and three hashes and then you want no space and four hashes right so now you have to take care of these spaces as well in so earlier in this case you were only taking care of the pound symbols or the hash symbols you did not have to care about the spaces but now you have to print the spaces before the hash symbols that means that this loop which is controlling the hash before this you would have to add another loop which would maybe you could say for s in range and if you could see that on the first line you have three spaces the second line you have two then one and this value decreases what is okay so can you uh, make it depend on something can you uh, can you write a variable here which de which decreases which has the value of uh, three for the first time because you want three spaces there and then its value becomes two and then one and then zero yes you can actually and that variable is n minus i so if you try that actually n minus i minus 1 let's do n minus i for now so if you do n minus i what what does that give you since the value of n is 4 which is constant so we would be subtracting something from a constant value okay but the value that we are subtracting this value the value of i it keeps increasing right so the value of i goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 so first in the first loop we would subtract 0 from n meaning 4 minus 0 so this loop would run 4 times but we wanted to run 3 times so we would have to subtract another minus 1 there right or subtract 1 from the from this whole thing so that it gives you 3 and then in the next loop when the value of i is 1 it would be n minus 2 so it would be 2 so you can print so here you can say print and you want to print a space and then you don't want to add a new line so you would say n equals nothing so if you run this you can see that you are getting a right sided and a right sided right angle triangle there and let me uh, dry run it one more time for you so here the value of n is 4 we are saying for i in range n meaning the value of i would go from 0 to 1 to 2 and then to 3 right it's because say this goes from uh, 0 to n exclusive and 
that's why we are not we, its value would never be equal to 4 so it would go from 0 1 2 to 3 right okay uh, inside this loop we have two different loops the first loop this loop is responsible for printing the spaces so we can say here uh, printing printing spaces to make it more uh, to make it easier to understand in future okay so for s in range and s here stands for space for s in range n minus i minus 1 why are we doing this because n minus i minus 1 this is giving uh, this is giving us the right number of spaces that we want in our pattern so what do we want in our pattern we, we want our pattern to go from three spaces to two spaces to one space and then to zero space right that's the goal so that's that's what we want to achieve so we would want to put a variable here which changes its value but changes how it should be decreasing so how do you decrease something you can subtract an increasing value of something from a constant value right and that's that's what we are doing here exactly we are subtracting an increasing value from n which is constant that's why we keep getting a negative or a decreasing value right so that's why when we subtract the value so in for the first loop the value of i would be 0 so we would do n minus 0 minus 1 so it would be 3 so this loop would run three times and we do want three spaces right when this loop runs when this loop runs again the value of i would be 1 so it would be 4 minus 1 minus 1 so it would be 2 and then we are we would be printing two spaces because this loop because this loop would be running two times right okay let's go ahead to the next loop in the next loop we need to print the number of hashes and this has to be an increasing value and we can simply make it depend on the value of i because the value of i increases it goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 right but since we wanted to print hash one time in the first loop we have to write i plus 1 there because by default the value of i would be 0 in the first loop if we if we take out the plus 1 from there it would print nothing because this loop would not run any time right but you want it to run one time that's why you have to add plus 1 there okay and since we don't since we don't want to add any extra line after just uh, you know after every iteration of these loops that's why we are ending with just a space and not a new line character so that it does not add a new line character after every, after printing every single character so we don't want uh, a space and then a new line and then another space and then a new line and then hash and then a new line because that 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 would make a one dimensional uh, pattern it wouldn't be a two a two dimensional pattern right but you do want a two dimensional so you would have to you would have to use these end uh, parameter for the print function so here you can simply copy this and you can simply delete all of that you can paste that there and if you run this it should probably work let me see okay so it's not working all oh, right because we hard coded the value of n so we here we have to say into input instead of a value right so if we run this now okay so it's working let's submit and see if all the test cases are passing okay so all the test cases are passing right perfect okay so we got the points right okay we got the points and we successfully solve this problem okay so that's it for this problem in the next video we'll be solving the next one so if you have any doubts though put them down in the comments below and I'll and I would love to help you out and I'll see you in the